contemplate the bones in four easy lessons. This is it, playing the bones. Here we go. I hope that you enjoy the rhythm bones. That's not me playing them. But you won't see anybody playing them any better than I. Have a great day. Good morning, guys. We are here with Rise and Shine. I'm looking across at the camera. I see the most beautiful smile. <laughs> I'm so blessed every morning to see that smile. Yesterday, I preached on running towards your giants. And today I want to bring out another point. And I want to give credit to Jason Colesmith for this. Who said concerning David and Goliath is what we were preaching about. And I'll read the verse here. David stood before Goliath. He didn't see how big Goliath was. He saw how big his God was. Another point was uh, he might have said, <laughs> while other people said, man, he's so big, I'll never be able to kill him. David may have said, He's so big, I can't miss him. The Bible said he ran towards, he was eager to destroy the giant. The Bible said that he picked up five stones. Goliath may have had some brothers. But Goliath had been out there for 40 days broadcasting his power 
and using fear tactics, and he had just demoralized the Israelite army until David showed up. Now, David has a resume. It's really good. If God does something special for you in your life, it's really good to have a resume. I could go right here within two seconds and find Charlotte's resume. Every day, she writes it down. Every day, she talks to God. She keeps a running journal every day. And, and right over here. So if you'd want to know how many times the Lord come through for her and given her a miracle in her life, that's where I would go to find out, okay? A prayer journal. Well, David had a good resume because when Paul, when Saul wanted to know what his resume was, David said, uh, I got a good one. He says, I tend my father's sheep and the lion come down to kill the sheep. He says, the Lord help me to kill a lion. I grabbed him by the jaw and by the by his beard and just, mm, wow. He said, the bear came in and I did the very same thing. I slew the bear. And he said, it was the Lord's power through me to do that. He gave the credit to God. David became a warrior after he'd spent many years being a worshiper in the backside of the desert looking after them sheep playing his harp. And God had anointed him to be the next king of Israel. And when he came down there with the instruction of his father to see his brothers, they said, who are you? Why, why don't you go back and tend the sheep? What are you doing here? They probably were embarrassed by their cowardly actions. And David acting so courageous. I guess we got a choice to be courageous or cowardly with the challenges today in our lives. So David goes to Saul and Saul says, here, I, I guess I'm convinced that you're the only hope we got. That's a paraphrase. And he said, you need to take my armor. And David said, after trying it on, he says, I can't even move with his armor on. He said, take, please take this off. I haven't proved this. Your resume will show how many times you have proved the power of God. And God has really answered prayer for you because God is alive and God's much bigger than the enemy and he's bigger than the giants. But your resume will prove. He said, I've proven God. Way he went. But here's the verses leading up to that when David looked at Goliath and they were talking. David said, this day the Lord will deliver you into my hand. And I will smite thee and take thy head from thee. I'm going to give the carcasses, and I'll give it to the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day, and unto the fowls of the air, and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Now, after the service yesterday, and I was preaching, Mr. Jason Colesmith came to me. And, uh, you know, he can preach pretty good. He really can. And uh, preachers get these ideas. And he said, he said, I've often wondered about the killing of Goliath and the cutting off of his head. He said, uh, it occurred to me that a lot of people face their giants and they may have occasions when they knock them unconscious. But they never totally kill them. And they never totally slay them. There's a big difference there. You can have highs and lows in your 
walk with the Lord. Times when you think it's really necessary to deal with your giants. And, but what Jason was saying is, it's a complete extension of that step when you finally get the victory and kill the giant, cut his head off. That can't be reversed. And the, that's a great point. It really is a great point because, you know, I don't know how long it takes for somebody, but, and I'm not saying, judging anybody on how long it takes to slay your giant in your life. But I really pray that you'll have victory today. Real victory today. We doing all right here? Got anything to say? I think you're doing good. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really pray that whatever it is that you identify as your giant today, that you'll do more than just knock it unconscious. That you'll take it seriously enough to do something about it. What a point. What a point. The Philistines, they scattered. They were defeated. And all of a sudden, the Israelites <laughs> came rushing back to life. Uh, and David, little David, was the hero. But he gives God all the honor and the glory. Well, now I hope that you, uh, <laughs> hope you get the message in that. I hope it blesses you today and challenges you today. And I uh, want to say good morning to David and Janice in Canada. And she's been after me to play the bones. And I don't uh, even know where the rhythm bones are. I'll resurrect them one of these days. I haven't played them in years. It takes a tremendous amount of energy to play the rhythm bones. And, uh, but uh, I'm going to show you something here this morning uh, that'll just... Uh, if you enjoy this kind of entertainment, uh, you'll enjoy this guy, okay? So sending that out to Janice this morning, and God bless you. Here's gentlemen playing the rhythm bones, even teaching you how to play them, and I hope that you enjoy it. Until we see you again, God bless you. Have a great day.